Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Cube ACR. Now, one of the most requested features for iPhone users is the ability to record your incoming and outgoing phone calls. Well, you have nothing to worry about because with Cube ACR, you can easily record incoming and outgoing phone calls in excellent quality. Cube ACR also provides excellent transcripts for every recording. And a cool feature is Shake to Mark, the ability to mark essential parts of a recording or a memo during the recording. You can also add notes to your existing recordings. So you can try out every single feature absolutely free with the free seven day free trials. You have nothing to lose. Make sure you check out Cube ACR. All the links will be in the description down below. Today I want to talk about iOS 17 developer beta 4. Now for those of you asking about iOS 17, the second public beta, that should be available relatively soon. Maybe by the time you watch this video, beta 2 for the public will most likely be available. Now the first thing of course I want to talk about here is additional new features and changes as iOS 17 actually continues to get better over time. There's some minor changes within the OS that improve the user experience. I've come across a few of those on beta 4 that I wanted to share with you guys on this follow-up video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the new update screen because in beta 3 and beta 4, again, this is going to be available for previous betas as well. Something that I wanted to mention here is that when you get the new update screen here, of course, you have the update now and then you have the update tonight option. But if you long press on the update tonight option, you get a menu here. So you see this menu says update tonight. This will allow you to set a schedule for your iPhone to update tonight, of course. Or you can have it only download the software when your iPhone is plugged in at night without updating your iPhone to the latest update. So yeah, something minor that I wanted to point out. It is available in beta 3 and beta 4. So let's get to some of the additional changes in beta 4 here. Let me go ahead and talk about, I first want to talk about new updates to SharePlay in CarPlay. So if you get into someone else's car, you'll get this pop up on the bottom of your screen right here, share play with whoever's car this is. And then when you click on it, it'll bring you to Apple Music where you can share a playlist in the car and control the music as well. Once you click connect, you'll be connected to the other person's CarPlay experience and you'll be able to share music, added music to their queue, their playlist. There's a really cool platter here as you can see that explain how this works and how you can control the music when in the car with someone else that has another iPhone and the CarPlay experience as well. So something that I wanted to share with you guys that's new to me in beta 4 and I think it was a really cool experience when I got into the car and saw this pop up initially in beta 4. Now other minor things I've noticed within iOS 17 and developer beta 4 that I've noticed after updating is that in settings I got this pop-up menu if you will with service included with your purchase. Now I've purchased a bunch of Apple products and this is the first time I see this. So recently I bought a brand new iPhone 13 and an iPhone 12 and it looks like I get free Apple News Plus for three months so I got this platter twice here but I did get the screen pop up here with this section under the actual iCloud settings and family sharing settings right here so it's a new pop-up that I've just noticed in iOS 17 entirely I've never seen this pop-up before that's going to be a service included with your purchase so if you buy a new iPhone and you get free Apple Music or you get free Apple News Plus or whatever you'll be able to see that populate in the settings application. And now jumping into control center, I've also noticed slight differences here with the Apple TV remote. This iPhone is running beta three, by the way, beta four on the left. Take a look at the icon there for the actual remote for the Apple TV. It's been updated to reflect better the look of the latest remote here for the Apple TV. Take a look at that. And also if we jump into the actual remote app itself, slight tweak of the controls as well for the Apple TV remote. So yeah, something minor, but something that I did notice on the latest iOS 17 beta 4. Now jumping into settings, if we go into privacy and security, of course, Apple has added a new feature, which is sensitive content warning. Now, if we jump into here, we now have an additional option, which is the contacts option, which can now enable the sensitive content warning for contacts as well. Now, previously we had the airdrop, we had the messages, and of course the video messages. Well, now we have the contacts information or the contact option to enable that sensitive content warning in iOS 17 developer beta 4. Now I want to jump into Apple Music here quickly and show you something that I've noticed. So if we go into clicking the AirPlay options right here and you click here, you see that the animation
information in the actual menu pops up directly from the actual icon. So take a look at that. You click it, it comes out from the icon and then expands. In comparison to previous beta where you would click it and just takes up the entire screen, the animation wasn't as smooth. So animations have been smoother with iOS 17 developer beta 4 when it comes to share play, airdrop, name drop, all the animations throughout the operating system are getting smoother and look a lot better. So Apple is definitely polishing up the software, of course, as a release is about a month and a half away believe it or not. So yeah, smoother animations as well on the latest beta. Now, the last but not least I want to talk about is AirPods. So when you pair the AirPods to your iPhone running iOS 17, you'll get a pop-up screen that shows you some of the latest new features coming to AirPods with iOS 17. So once iOS 17 is available and your AirPods also update, you'll see this screen here once you pop open your AirPods. If you have AirPods Pro second generation, you'll see this screen right here where we have the adaptive mode, the personalized volume, and the conversation awareness that's something that i did want to note on this update for you guys so yeah everything looks a lot smoother things are getting really good here with ios 17 hopefully we'll continue to see improvements from here on out i just wanted to share those details with you guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace